everyone it's Shelby welcome back to my channel you guys requested a canning video so I thought I'd show you how easy it is to can tomatoes what a nice surprise someone uh, put the dishes away you hear the teapot warming up I'm gonna get ready and uh, start on these tomatoes you guys on Facebook requested I show you how to can tomatoes they're real simple just go ahead and core them these have all been double washed already I did that last night and then just cut them into quarters or six something like that and get them into a pot that's the first step so I'm gonna start working on these tomatoes until I get a pot full of them and filled my pot with the tomatoes and I forgot to mention I'm using Italian plum tomatoes are my favorite ones to use for sauce we're just going to start cooking this over medium heat stirring frequently until the tomatoes get cooked down so I've cooked it down and all of the tomatoes are fairly soft it's been about a half an hour I turned off the heat now I'm going to run it through the food mill so now I'm just going to uh, fill the hopper with the tomato. Let me get it a little closer. And then just start cranking your meal. So the pulp and the juice comes out here. And all the peel and seeds and that kind of thing come out at this end. So it kind of separates that. I filled my pot with the juice and now I have this on like a number two, two and a half on the stove. And I'm gonna frequently stir this and reduce it by about a third or so. I'm using the ball canning book. And on page 362, there's the basic uh, tomato sauce recipe for a water bath canner. They also have a recipe on page uh, 374 if you want to use a pressure canner but today we're just going to use a water bath canner and follow the recipe when you can tomatoes in a water bath canner you can either use bottled lemon juice or citric acid uh, to make the tomatoes more acidic and that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to use the citric acid so for pints we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon and for quarts, we'll add half of a teaspoon. Also for the salt, I'm using a canning salt. I'll show that to you. Uh, pints, half a teaspoon, and quarts, a teaspoon. There's just a couple pieces of equipment that you need. Uh, this is a jar lifter. You put that around the jars and you can lift the hot jars out of the cannon pot. This is... Um, when you have your lids in uh, the warm water, uh, it's, there's a magnet at the end so you can pick up a lid one at a time. That's kind of handy. And then this is a headspace measurer. So for a half an inch, what we want in this recipe, you go to the second uh, notch there and you put it along the rim and it'll measure it for you. There's another way that you can measure the rim. When you do a lot of canning, you can eyeball the headspace pretty good. 
because you, you have these marks on the jar and you can see um, based where they are that that would be a half inch headspace. So you get pretty good if you do a few hundred jars <laughs> at figuring out uh, the appropriate headspace. So if you don't have one of those measuring um, sticks, you could use the jar uh, rings to help you measure a half an inch. And then just a canning funnel, very helpful. I washed the jars in my dishwasher and now I have them at a simmer in my canning pot. And as you can see, the sauce has cooked down to about a third. And if you, this will give us a thin sauce. If you want a thicker sauce, you can cook it down about half. I'm gonna start by canning some pint jars. We're doing a hot pack. The tomato sauce has uh, been at a simmer and it's been reduced to the desired thickness that I want. We're going to check the headspace. Perfect. Now, I'm going to add citric acid, a fourth of a teaspoon. You could also add a tablespoon of bottled lemon juice. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of canning salt. And I'm just going to take this wooden skewer and make sure I don't have any air bubbles. It's not too critical with the sauce, but when you do things like chunky apple pie filling and stuff like that, it's really important to do. I like to add a fresh basil leaf. Next thing you want to do is you want to wipe the um, jars. Make sure you didn't have any junk on the rim. Go ahead and take one of your canning lids. Go ahead and place it in place. Put your ring on it. And this is going to be hot, so. Just want to get it finger tight. And then into the canner. Pints will process at 35 minutes. and you need to adjust for your elevation. So for my elevation, I'm adding five more minutes. So that's a total of 40 minutes processing time. So I'm gonna finish uh, filling the other jars and then bring the whole canner back up to a rolling boil. And at that time, my 40 minutes starts. We're at a full boil. So I'm gonna put the top back on. I'm gonna turn the heat off to the canner and set the timer for five minutes and then we'll get the jars out. It's been five minutes, so I'm gonna take the jar out. And I don't wanna tilt it, even though there's water on top. I wanna bring it on over. I'm setting it on a kitchen towel. You can see how quickly the water on top evaporates. Don't worry about that. Don't tilt your jar. Just take it out level. So how much yield did I get out of the 10 bushels? I canned 48 quarts and 48 pints. And the sauce is really, um, really a nice sauce. Look at that. Now I also froze 12 quarts and 24 pints. I reduced that even further for spaghetti sauce and I have that out in my freezer. I had some room in one of my freezers, so I decided to go ahead and reduce the tomato sauce by half. 
and put um, quarts and pints up in the freezer. This will be used to make spaghetti sauce. So when I make spaghetti and meatballs, I won't have to cook the sauce as much. It's already been reduced quite a bit. So I have 12 quarts and 24 pints um, here in the freezer. Super happy about that. And a little work up front is gonna save me work on the back end, because I'm not gonna have to boil the spaghetti sauce for hours and hours and hours when I make it. So that's great. And there's enough in here that'll do 12 uh, spaghetti dinners for our family size. Music